The electric vehicle landscape is undergoing a monumental shift as automakers from all corners of the globe, from the industrial might of China to the innovation corridors of North America, intensify their efforts to lead the next generation of transportation. The pressure is mounting and the battleground is crystal clear. Battery technology. This isn't just about who can build the sleekest car or the fastest SUV. It's about unlocking the future with a battery that is not only cheaper and safer but also dramatically more efficient. The company that cracks this code will seize control of the EV market for decades to come. And that brings us to Tesla. While the company has revolutionized electric mobility and set the benchmark for EV performance, the truth remains that Tesla cannot forever rely on the lithium-ion batteries that power its vehicles today. Those batteries, while once groundbreaking, are fast approaching their limits in the context of cost, efficiency, scalability, and environmental impact. And so, the big question surfaces. What happens if Tesla creates a battery that is three times cheaper than lithium-ion, charges twice as fast, and is a hundred times safer? It may sound like a science fiction fantasy, but that once distant dream is slowly taking shape in reality. There are compelling reasons to believe we are standing at the edge of a turning point in the battery world, perhaps one of the most significant technological inflection points since the dawn of the internal combustion engine. The next revolution might not be driven by lithium but by a humble, underappreciated element that we encounter every day, sodium. Sodium ion batteries are rapidly emerging as a contender, and while energy researchers and tech enthusiasts have talked about them for years, the wider public has remained largely unaware of their existence much less their transformative potential. Sodium-ion batteries operate on a chemistry that is conceptually similar to lithium-ion. At their core, they consist of a cathode composed of materials that can hold sodium, an anode often crafted from hard carbon or certain metal oxides, and a liquid electrolyte filled with sodium ions that shuttle back and forth between the two electrodes. The working principle remains the same. During charging, sodium ions migrate from the cathode to the anode, and during discharge they return from the anode to the cathode, releasing stored energy in the process. So, if the basic operating mechanism mirrors lithium-ion technology, what's all the fuss about? Why is sodium-ion being hailed as the game-changing technology of tomorrow? The answer lies in the unique advantages it brings to the table. Sodium is far more abundant in nature. About 2.6% of the Earth's crust is made up of sodium, compared to the relatively scarce availability of lithium. Extracting lithium is an energy-intensive and costly process often involving harmful environmental practices and geopolitical complexities. By contrast, sodium can be harvested more easily, without as much environmental or ethical baggage. This alone dramatically reduces the cost of raw materials, which is a huge factor in the overall battery price. Furthermore, sodium-ion batteries don't require expensive and difficult-to-source metals like cobalt or nickel, which are staples in many lithium-based cells. Instead, they rely on iron and manganese, materials that are far more common and evenly distributed across the planet. That makes sodium-ion batteries not only cheaper to produce but also more geopolitically stable. This naturally brings us to the heart of the matter. Why hasn't Tesla fully embraced sodium-ion technology yet? Before we answer that, let's first understand why Tesla eventually will. The adoption of sodium-ion batteries by Tesla does not mean the company will abandon lithium-ion technology altogether. Every type of battery chemistry has unique strengths, which makes it more suitable for certain models or applications. But for Tesla's ambitious plan to produce affordable vehicles for the mass market, including the much-anticipated $25,000 model, cost is the paramount concern. And this is where sodium-ion batteries shine. Analysts believe that sodium-ion battery production costs could drop to as low as $40 per kilowatt hour. To put that into context, even the most affordable lithium-iron phosphate cells today still cost around $90 per kilowatt hour. Tesla's biggest battery partner, the Chinese giant CL, is already producing sodium ion cells at approximately $70 per kilowatt hour and expects to bring that figure below $40 in the near future. This opens the door for dramatic price cuts in EVs, potentially driving entry level models down to around $5,000, according to experts like Tony Saba. But cost isn't the only metric where sodium ion batteries are starting to pull ahead. Charging speed is another critical battlefield. In today's Tesla vehicles, it typically takes around 35 minutes to charge from 20% to 80% using a supercharger. That's relatively fast but still inconvenient for many drivers, especially on long-distance trips. CTL claims their sodium-ion batteries can reach an 80% charge in as little as 10 to 20 minutes. And emerging lab prototypes are demonstrating even more mind-blowing potential, 
sodium ion cells that can recharge in seconds, using ultra-high performance cathode materials that mimic the behavior of supercapacitors. If scaled and commercialized, this technology could redefine what we expect from EV charging infrastructure. Then there's safety, perhaps the most critical yet often overlooked factor in battery design. Lithium-ion batteries, while generally safe, can catch fire or explode under certain failure conditions. And once ignited, they are notoriously difficult to extinguish. Sodium-ion batteries offer a dramatic improvement here. Because sodium is inherently less reactive than lithium, batteries built on sodium chemistry are non-flammable and exhibit exceptional resistance to thermal runaway events. CTL has demonstrated this in rigorous lab tests, where their sodium-ion cells were subjected to nail penetration, electric drilling, compression, and even open flame, without catching fire or exploding. It's an almost unheard of level of safety in the battery world. Additionally, these batteries can operate in extreme temperature ranges, from minus 20 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius. In one test, even at minus 30 degrees Celsius, CTL sodium ion battery was able to charge from 30% to 80% in half an hour, all while maintaining over 90% of its usable capacity. Durability is another key area where sodium ion batteries shine. While most lithium iron phosphate batteries max out at around 2,000 to 3,000 charge cycles, CTL sodium ion batteries are designed to last up to 10,000 cycles. That translates to roughly 4.8 million kilometers, or nearly 3 million miles. In real world terms, it means the battery could last two decades or more with proper maintenance. This extended lifespan is a game changer for electric vehicle owners who fear the expensive prospect of battery replacement. CATL's conservative projection is not just theoretical, it's backed by real world data and exhaustive internal testing. This level of reliability could bring a paradigm shift in customer trust and overall EV longevity. So, with all these advantages lower cost, faster charging, greater safety, and longer lifespan, why hasn't Tesla already jumped aboard the sodium ion train? The answer, as always, lies in trade offs. And the most significant trade off in the sodium ion equation is energy density. While lithium ion batteries today range from 180 to 250 watt hours per kilogram in terms of energy density, Sodium ion batteries currently hover around 140 to 160 watt hours per kilogram. This lower energy density means sodium ion batteries need to be larger and heavier to store the same amount of energy as their lithium counterparts. For high performance or long range EVs, this is a problem. It impacts range, weight distribution, and overall vehicle efficiency. That's one of the main reasons Tesla has remained cautious. But innovation is underway. CTL is currently developing a second-generation sodium-ion battery that aims to reach 200 watt-hours per kilogram, a significant leap forward. To achieve this, they are re-engineering the materials used in both the anode and cathode. The anode now utilizes a restructured form of Prussian white, a compound known for its ability to store sodium ions while maintaining high structural integrity. This new form of Prussian white has been modified at the electron distribution level to prevent performance degradation over many charge cycles. Meanwhile, the cathode is being built with porous hard carbon that allows for faster ion movement and higher capacity. These material advances could finally close the energy density gap enough for Tesla to start serious experimentation. Interestingly, the sodium ion revolution is not just being driven by CATL. A former Tesla engineer has launched his own startup focused entirely on developing high-performance sodium ion cells. According to early announcements, his company has already achieved a prototype with a driving range of over 300 miles, matching the performance of many current lithium-ion powered EVs. That would be a major milestone in making sodium-ion batteries viable for mainstream adoption. Beyond EVs, sodium-ion batteries could see significant uptake in stationary energy storage. Their lower cost and long lifespan make them ideal for grid-level applications, particularly in regions with renewable energy infrastructure. In fact, CTL is already eyeing this market, and other battery manufacturers across Europe, Japan, and the United States are following suit. Over the next decade, the sodium ion market is expected to grow at an annual rate of 27%, potentially reaching 70 gigawatt hours of annual production by the year 2033. That represents nearly 600% growth from current levels. Another reason sodium ion batteries are so attractive is their compatibility with existing manufacturing processes. Much of the production equipment and know-how developed for lithium-ion batteries can be adapted to sodium-ion with minimal retooling. This reduces upfront investment costs and shortens the timeline for commercial viability. 
Some companies are even experimenting with hybrid batteries that combine sodium and lithium chemistries in a single unit. These hybrid systems use intelligent battery management software to allocate usage between the two chemistries based on conditions like temperature, required power, and state of charge. This clever integration could offer the best of both worlds, high energy density when needed and safer, cheaper sodium-based energy for standard driving. Despite the potential, it's clear that challenges remain. Sodium-ion batteries must overcome the inertia of a well-established lithium-ion ecosystem that includes decades of R&D, global supply chains, and consumer trust. But as the demand for affordable, sustainable, and efficient energy storage continues to rise, the incentive to diversify battery technology will only grow stronger. Tesla may not be the first to deploy sodium-ion batteries in a production vehicle, but it's increasingly likely that the company will not be the last. And once Tesla makes that move, the entire industry will likely follow. This could be a defining moment not just for Tesla but for the entire automotive world. The success of sodium-ion batteries could lead to a new generation of electric vehicles that are dramatically more affordable, safer, and longer-lasting than anything we've seen before. For many customers, especially urban and suburban buyers who don't need long-distance range but do need affordability and reliability, these vehicles could be the perfect solution. And for Tesla, it could be the key that finally unlocks the dream of sustainable transport for the masses. So what are your thoughts? Could sodium-ion batteries be the long-awaited game-changer the EV industry needs? Could they power the next wave of Tesla models, including the long-rumored sub-$10,000 compact car? Leave a comment below. We at Torque Element would love to hear from every 1,000 subscriber as we continue to explore the future of electric mobility. Until next time, thank you for watching Torque Element.